This video covers part one of combustion analysis. We're going to start with a simple carbon-hydrogen compound. So that means it contains just carbon and hydrogen. So we've got a 27-gram sample of an unknown carbon-hydrogen compound is burned in excess oxygen. And we're going to produce CO2 and H2O. So we have CX, HY, plus oxygen. And we know this one is in excess produces carbon dioxide. We have 88.0 grams of this and water, 27 grams. We know we start with 27 grams of this also. So what we need to do is figure out how to get a handle on the amount of carbon and the amount of hydrogen. Well, the only place that we are getting carbon from is from the original hydrocarbon. So we're going to take the carbon dioxide and use it to find the moles of carbon that are present. So we have 88 grams of carbon dioxide. There's 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide for each mole of carbon dioxide. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio. We have one mole of carbon for one mole of CO2. So we have a total of two. 0.00 moles of carbon. Let's come back now and we need to get a handle on hydrogen. The hydrogen, the only source of hydrogen in the water is coming from right here. So we're going to start with our 27 grams of water. And convert that to moles of hydrogen. So our molar mass of water is 18.016 grams. And we have for every one mole of water, two moles of hydrogen, which means we have a total of three moles hydrogen. So our empirical formula is C2H3.